The YSRCP office, which is under construction, collapsed today. Surprisingly, there are no protesters from the YSRCP side. Where are the thousands of Karyakartas, XMLAs, and other party activists? No one came out to protest, and at least now, Jugan Mohan Reddy should understand what has happened to the party under his leadership. The real strength of the party is known when it is not in power, rather than when it is. Jugan Mohan Reddy ignored the Karyakartas in the last five years, implying with his actions that volunteers are enough. However, this led to even MLAs losing direct contact with the people, and some of them blamed the volunteer system after losing in the elections citing the same reason. All the importance Juggin gave was only to his core team members and IPAC. Although Juggin Mohan Reddy felt that he made several efforts towards direct benefit transfers to the people, he didn't realize that there were other beneficiaries around him who got benefited in a similar DBT in other form. These included Sajala, Shevardi, Vijay Sai Reddy, YV Subha Reddy, Petr Didi, Dan and Jay Reddy, and the IPAC team. Only they were given importance, funds and power to run the government, party, and even to conduct pre-poll surveys and advise on fielding candidates in various constituencies. When the party office under construction is being demolished, where are Sajala, Shevardi, and Dan and Jay Reddy? Why don't they come forward to the cameras and protest? Sajala, who always came in front of the camera to show himself as the number two in the party when it was in power, is now not coming before the cameras to talk. Why is this so? Everyone in the party, including Karia Cardis, ex-volunteers, XMLAs, and leaders, understood why the party lost in the election. But Juggan Mohan Reddy still does not understand. Juggan still feels that people believed only in the manifesto released by Chandra Babu out of greed, forgetting that Chandra Babu never fulfilled his manifesto promises in the past. While that contributes only to a small percentage of the defeat, there are umpteen number of leadership issues that collapsed the party to the ground. While the physical office was collapsed by the new government authorities, it is Juggan Mohan Reddy who collapsed the spirit within his party with the wrong ecosystem he placed in the party throughout his rule. At least now, looking at the circumstances, if he doesn't change his mind, his political future will be in danger. It is an indication that Juggan Mohan Reddy should rebuild his party from scratch to regain and find relevance in the political map of Andhra Pradesh. The silence of Karyakartas, leaders, and even the core team over the demolition of the party office is a clear indication that the party's engine has stopped and awaiting an ignition. Tags, Jugan Andhra Pradesh Chandra Babu Naidu listened to story Andhra Pradesh's ruling Telugu Desam Party, TDP, on Saturday said that the under construction office of the YSR Congress Party, YSRCP, at Tadapali in Guntur district was demolished as it was being built illegally on the irrigation department's land. In a statement on the demolition action following a backlash from former Chief Minister Jugan Mohan Reddy, the TDP said the office was being built illegally on two acres of irrigation department land. The action came after a TDP leader lodged a complaint with the commissioners of the Capital Region Development Authority, CRDA, and Mangaladri Tadapali Municipal Corporation, MTMC, PTI reported. The Chandrababu Naidu-led party, which unseated the YSRCP in the recent assembly polls, claimed Juggan Reddy had misused his power and allotted the piece of land to build his party's office without clearance from the irrigation department. Juggan Mohan Reddy prepared a plan to occupy the neighboring 15 acres by building the party office on these two acres. It is now clarified that the irrigation department has not given the clearance to hand over these two acres to the YSRCP, the TDP statement further said. Reacting to the demolition of his party's office, Juggan Reddy accused Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu of taking vendetta politics to the next level and acting like a dictator. Reddy alleged that the action was taken disregarding high court orders. Like a dictator, he got YSRCP's central office demolished with excavators and bulldozers, which was almost complete, the former chief minister said in a post on X. In a statement, the opposition party said the court had ordered a stay on demolition activity, and it was conveyed to the CRDA commissioner. The party claimed the government authorities' action amounted to contempt of court. Juggan Reddy said law and justice had completely vanished in Andhra Pradesh under the Naidu government. The YSRCP chief said the party would not be intimidated by such actions and promised to fight for the people.